So this video will show you how to use some of the new features of Flipgrid for math practice. Here's an example of a grid that I have set up for math practice. And inside this grid, you can see that there's a topic and this topic involves solving array word problems. So I have my directions and I have the actual question to solve at the bottom. So my students can go in and read this or they can listen to the directions using the immersive reader. On the control panel of a jet airplane, there are four rows filled with seven buttons each. How many different buttons in total are on this control panel? So now I'm going to solve this problem and I'm going to solve it by clicking this green button. And once I log in, I'm ready to record. Now by default in Flipgrid, it's going to open your camera, but for this problem, I don't want to film myself. I want to use whiteboard mode to solve that problem. So if I click on the bottom, I can just switch my camera to whiteboard mode. And if I click show topic at the top, I can bring that topic up with directions and this won't be recorded on camera, but this will help me solve the problem. And finally, what I want to do is switch to the drawing feature or the live inking and change the color. And once I'm ready to go, all I have to do is hit the record button and solve this problem. So in this problem, there are, there are four rows with seven buttons each. The first thing I have to do is draw my array. With my array done, the next part is to write a multiplication equation. And then the last step is for me to count the total number of units that I drew. So in the end, there are 28 different buttons on the control panel. I can stop my video and then hit the next button. So in this problem, there are seven rows. There are four rows. This looks good, so I'm just going to hit the right arrow and I'm going to skip this part about taking a selfie. And go next. And just like that, my video is finished. Now I can either watch my video on Flipgrid or I can actually download an MP4 file. And if I go back into my grid as the teacher. So in this problem, there are seven rows. There are four rows with seven rows each. I can score it using a rubric, and I can even add a comment. This could be a really helpful way for teachers to be able to get an idea of what their students understand about particular math problems.